Okay, so in this next group of videos, I want to start taking a look at the Actions panel and Action Script in Flash CS4. Now, the Action Script will work the same way in Flash CS5 and CS5.5, but we're going to find that as we move into Flash CS5 and CS5.5, there's a new window called the Code Snippets, which is going to help us write the code that we need to write. <clears throat> but it's good to understand the code before we even begin. So let's take a look. In this video, I'm going to uh, go over where we find the action script code and take a look at the code a little bit and take a look at what comments are and just do an overview of the actions panel. Okay, so I'm looking at my timeline right here and I can see that I have these different layers and I have a layer which is my actions layer. What we want to do is always have a separate layer where we put our actions put our actions in the frames within the action layer. So when I come right up into my window, I can open up my actions window and I click it open and there we see it. Now, when you open up your actions window, you might see a lot of other stuff. So when I take a look at this right here, um, I have this columns over here. And what these columns over here are here for, there's panels on the left and they're for navigating through code. This is really designed for when we already know code. So for our purposes, if we're just, you know, not necessarily coders, more come to this as designers, we just want to turn this off and stick right with this. Now, there's this little item called script assist too. For our work, what I would say to do is turn the script assist off. And really we're just gonna I'm just gonna show you um, the code right within here. Now I already have some action script written, and you can see when I relate this right to my to my timeline, to my actions window, when I come and I click on the frame where it's written, I can see what's there. Okay, now right in here, now let me start right here. Okay, so I come to frame 29. And I know that I'm on frame 29 because I can see right down here, actions, it's in frame 29. Each one of these little boxes on our timeline is a frame. And this stop that was inserted was put right in frame 29. Now, if we take a closer look at our action script, the blue, when we see the color blue, the blue color are words that action script sends to Flash. So it's a message to Flash telling Flash to do something. Okay, so the words in blue very much make up the vocabulary of the action script language. Now, we see this is ending uh, with a semicolon. We can, when we look at action script, a semicolon ends a line of code, it ends a statement, and we could compare the semicolon to the function of a period in um, our language. All right, so let's take a look. So I can see that this stop, and this is the um, action script for a stop. I can come right into here, and I can come to line 40. I can hover. I can see, okay, this is in frame 40, frame 40, and I see another stop. Now, the stops were written directly right into the frame. Now, as I take a look at this page right here, and I have lines 2 through line 12, these are uh, commands, we could say, two lines of action script that actually have a function. And these lines that we're looking at right here are to make my buttons function, are to do button functionality. Now, what we see here, and we'll take a little bit of a closer look, um, we can break this into two different lines, two different sections. Okay, we have our first line, and this is the about event about button, um, and we want to we're adding an event. Then the second part of this command is the function, and the function is what gives the orders to what's going to happen. Okay, so we come to this next one again. We see there's a relationship between these two parts of our action script. This is another command altogether. And we see here we have that's specifying the event. Okay, and what this is saying, this line eight, it's saying when the user clicks the images button, this is what's going to happen. Go to and play blank. Okay, this line up here is saying when the user clicks the about button, 
the function will be go to and play about. All right, so so that's that's pretty much it. Now I want to take a look at another something. We can also insert comments, and comments can be a very um, popular thing, and you'll see them quite throughout. And they're actually pretty good if you want to, you know, put a little comment for yourself. So I can come in, and I could say this is a line of this is a comment. Now, what does the comment do? Well, the comment is the action script flash does not read this line and you can put a note in for yourself. Now, we use the two forward slashes. Comments are always in gray. The two forward slashes are used for one line. So, what about if we wanted to do a multi-line comment? Well, we'd have to use two different two different things. We would actually use a forward slash and the star k. And I could say this is the command that is used for multi multi-line comments. Use this this when you have more than one line. Now, you have to actually end this too, and we would end this line just, oh, just like that. Okay. All right, and we can see that then I come back in and the action script is happening. Now, we can use our comments when we want to give ourselves a message or we want to leave a message for someone else who's working on our project. We can also use a multi-line or just the single line comment when we want to disable a block of quote of of code. So let's say that you know I had my first button work perfectly but my second one just wasn't quite working out. Well I could come on in and I could I could disable. I could totally disable that and maybe I would disable it all the way to the end and do, 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 do. okay that's what I could do. I could easily just remove it and I could remove it by just coming on in and erasing it. Now we come on up to here too. We can also see that we can apply a block comment, a block, um, a multi-line block comment there, just like that. Okay. And we can also see that we can apply a line comment. If I was to just come in right here and say, apply a line comment, I applied a line comment. Yippee. Okay. I could come right here and say, oh, I want to apply a block comment. Voila. Okay, and we can see what, what ActionScript does is it gives us the beginning and the end. So we would type our block quote, our multi-line in between these two commands. So there is the action window in a nutshell. Um, and again, what appears in our actions window as we float around really base, is based on where we click inside of um, our, in, as we move through our actions window. Now, really our stops are going to be what is what is placed on a certain line. Um, there's a lot of our action script that we write that it doesn't really matter what line it's placed on. So for instance, this lines two through line 12 didn't matter which, it did not matter where I went and placed it because it was actually based on um, the label that I have for a button. So what do I mean by that? Well, if I come and I click right here and I come to my properties panel, I can see, oh, okay, this is the about button. Okay. So I was actually telling it to do this when this button is clicked. Now it's just saying current selection cannot have action applied to it. And that's absolutely fine. Um, what I did was put it, I put it in right after I wrote the code for my, um, my my window to stop at line the line 14 of my code thanks for listening